Chris here with the Core M powered Cube i7. Just going to show you some Windows Store games now. In my previous videos I showed you a bit of gaming using uh, just normal games through Windows. Now these are these store games and see how well they run. Normally they run pretty good even on the Atom Baytrail CPUs which are quite low powered. So these games now running on the Core M should be a lot better and hopefully run even higher settings and look even nicer. So first up, I'm just going to have a look at Asphalt 8 Airborne. And just to take it a gamepad, that's because I'm running the uh, Xbox 360 controller here. It's an old controller I've just got lying around, just plugged it into the USB port at the back. Okay, hopefully you can see there that uh, the graphics actually looks really good. It's got anti-analyzing on and maybe higher texture filtering, but it just looks really good. A lot better than what it does normally on the Retina tablets I've been running with the Atom Baytrail chips. This is definitely looking a lot better. So it must auto-detect your graphics card, your GPU, and adjust the graphics settings accordingly. But yeah, this looks good. So let's jump into a game. even just going through the menus and loading a lot quicker, that's real quick. Yeah, that looks so much better actually than the the ones the times I've been playing it on the Atom powered chips. crashing already. Much easier to drift when you're using the controller. Of course the game works via touchscreen as well. Looks really well, plays really well. I think that's enough. I'll run a, another game now, Modern Combat 5. That's quite a demanding game. It tends to be quite laggy, so I'll just run that now. Okay, where is it? Oh, I don't have it installed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to run Grand Theft Auto. Sorry about that, I thought I had the game installed, but uh, I remembered now that I actually cancelled it. I will test that one out later on. So this is uh, San Andreas. To show you the settings, because you can adjust the settings on here. So I think I'll just try first with the whole thing pretty much just maxed out. Oops, brightness, I need to touch that. So max resolution, 1080p full, 1080p shadows advanced, maximum. Okay, and I'll just jump into a game here. That is also running really well. That looks good too. Let's see if I can steal a car. You can see all the car reflections and everything. Yeah, it's uh, running really well, so that is uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there from the store, it's a store download.
just out another game now. Um, what? Oh. There's test uh, dungeon hunter, I think. Dungeon Hunter Five. Again, it's another game that I think. Pretty sure this one supports the controller. seem to detect the controller so far. So maybe the controller doesn't work. Touch the screen. Well, there's my controller becoming a mouse pointer there, so... I'm pretty sure I could control... There we go. Now, now I'm controlling with the controller. Another game that's running very smooth, no issues. And if I wanted to, of course, I can just pick up the tablet and play it this way using the touch screen. And that also works fine. Okay, so that one runs fine. Let's try GT Racing 2 now. This I think supports the controller. Uh, it doesn't look like my controller's working here because I plugged it in after launching the game. Uh, no. Not cool, not cool. It wants me to use the keyboard, I think. No, it does. Okay, so it wants me to use the keyboard to control. You can see the game runs fine. Looks really good. 2 get all those range of Windows Store games are going to run perfectly fine on this, on the Corium, without any issues. Definitely the Intel 5300 graphics can handle this with these, with these games. Some of them aren't bad games either, I mean this game's not too bad, if you like driving games. GTA San Andreas, that game can keep you busy for quite a while.
Alright, so that's just a quick look at some store games there. Sorry I didn't have uh, Modern Combat 5 installed. I'll see if I can download that and test that one out. That's a demanding game that looks really good graphically, but it's not the best optimized game. It can be a bit choppy and laggy. Thank you for watching the video and hopefully catch you in my next video. Bye for now.